wasn't expecting anything. Soki, Soki, long time. <laughs> smart would be believed when they say that they swear and up and down that this is true because for the last four and a half years that's been the case Roman Reigns is the top guy in WWE and to hell with everybody else right I mean it just makes perfect sense look at it look at it <laughs> oh oh my god it is, you know it just it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me that they'd have Reigns lose to Brock at WrestleMania 31 and then at 34 and then at Extreme Rules and then all of a sudden he wins the title from him in five minutes at, at freaking Summer Scam or whatever I, I don't. And, and plus, he's had a nothing title reign, like Brock Lesnar's. Except it's on Roman Reigns, so it's about a thousand times worse. But that's not Brock Lesnar's fault. He was booked not to defend his title every couple of years, you know? So it just makes sense, right? And then they have Roman Reigns be the top dog. They, the big dog, you know? Whoever the fuck that is, because he's definitely not a big dog. If anything, he's just a little puppy trying to be a big dog, like Scrappy-Doo. Meanwhile, Scooby-Doo is the Undertaker, and they had him job to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 33. I mean, it was a 30-minute match, but at the end of the day, it was just a very drawn-out half-hour squash match. Which completely took away the credibility of anything... WWE had ever did with The Undertaker over the last 28 years. Okay. Now, let's see. What do we got? No! 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 What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm a savage! Holy crap! Oh! Got London in the equal three! Yeah! Oh man! <laughs> I'm not a duck, I'm not a chick duck! Oh man! Okay, Jimmy Kimmel Live. He makes this really obscene statement. He says that if Judge Brett Kavanaugh is confirmed, Brett Kavanaugh should agree to chop off his penis. <laughs> Who the fuck says that? Not a human, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, okay. So I build him from Los Retardos, California. <laughs> and he has a Facebook. How fitting, since Zuckerberg is so fucking notorious for silencing conservatives over there, just like that, that jackass Dorsey the Horsey is notorious for silencing conservatives over here on Twitter. <laughs> I think this says it all right here. I made one big ass mistake after I sold out the Soros. Yeah, kind of, kind of a pun on the, on the popular one big ass mistake, America, which is what we made when we were retarded enough to vote for Obama in 2008, right? Because we wanted hope and change. Yes, we can. Sure, so Satan, fucker. I don't even feel bad for the guy, you know? I don't, period. 
and a fucking story. You just can't, you know? It's impossible. It's just. You cannot reason with dumbasses. You can't. It's. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! <laughs> This is one of my favorite memes that I made. I made this meme, by the way. I made this one on Benny Hinn. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, let me let me run it down through you guys, okay? Let me run it down for you. Hi, I'm Benny Hinn, America's most revered Catholic Christian televangelist of prosperity. However, the prosperity I preach is not of God, but rather of Satan. That's right, folks. I'm a closet Luciferian! <laughs> you motherfuckers! Why are you so retarded and fucking buying of my bullshit? I'm Benny Hinn, damn it! You're not supposed to buy into my bullshit! My employees are Rockefeller and Rothschild who give me a television show to preach to honey goodness and ignorant Brits. Would I burn in hell for this? Absolutely, but I'll force TBN to tell you that I went home to the Lord, because you're too stupid to know the difference between heaven and hell. <laughs> and and look, at how I, look at how I did my eyes, man, that's damn funny. By the way, I cosplayed as Benny Hinn. You know, you know how he always wears a leather jacket and, and... And some sort of ridiculous looking so-called I don't know man I don't know man it's just he wears a leather jacket and a white collar that you can't see in the middle of his shirt on the top you know but does that make him a Catholic priest does that make them does it make him a priest at all no because he's a faggot who does it for Rothschild Obviously. I mean, you would think, right? Yeah. It's just, it's just... Okay, now, now I know you guys are really... pissed off at Michael Avenatti. And... I'm, I'm just gonna... I made that meme, by the way. I edited his Twitter page. <laughs> Don't ask me why, because I ain't going to tell you. On second thought, I am going to tell you, because he's a fucking faggot! Right? I mean, my God, man. Oh, I'm just, I can't, man. This is, this is too funny. I, this, is, this is my best meme. I swear to God, this, this is my best meme. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm not lying about it, because you know it to be true. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, let's 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 run through this, okay? Let's start at the bottom and work our way to the top. We're starting at the bottom, now we're here. Okay. This account tweets are protected. Only confirmed followers have access. The Narcolabinati tweets and complete profile. Tap the follow button to send a follow request. Why the hell do you need to tap the follow button to send a follow request? When you know the guy isn't going to accept it if you're a conservative. You ignorant dumbasses. Okay, here's, here's where we get to my favorite part, okay? All right. 1,147 people he's following, allegedly. Okay, so 1 and 1 are 2. 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 7 is... Oh, shit. 13. That's 
that's my lucky number! <laughs> and 784,000 retards! <laughs> I know how to make a meme. I'm, I swear to God. I know how to make a meme. I'm a master at it. Okay. He joined February of 2011. What day? Valentine's Day? That would make a lot of sense if he joined on Valentine's Day. Because, see, he's full of love. Like in Islam or Muslim. We're full of peace and love. But we elected a fucking dumbass to lead us. Ah, uh, okay, he's from Los Angeles, California. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, his, 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 his Twitter handle is the same as his first and last name. I mean, he should either change his Twitter handle to either creepy porn lawyer Creepy faggot lawyer, creepy skank lawyer, or my personal favorite, come quap because magma. I think my parents fucked up when they created me. Looking for some insanity in the earpiece? Cause that's what we're getting here. Enjoy this freakout by a so-called journalist that isn't really a journalist, but rather a suck-up to the great democratic conspiracy. What's going on? Why am I losing this? Why don't I have sound? All right, it's back. Someone's pressing buttons and turning my sound off. Who is, who's asking for a Labor Day rundown in my ear? It is me. Someone in that control room is out of control. That would be me. Twenty seconds. You don't say, right? Yeah. Get. There's insanity in the control room tonight. Uh huh. You talk to your kids like that? 15 seconds. 10 seconds. You have insanity in my earpiece. Don't, don't leave it there. It's not my earpiece, it's somebody talking on our lines. That would be me. I'm talking on your line, buddy. 10 seconds. Every time we go to a SOT, there's a woman talking in my ear about something that has nothing to do with what I'm we're doing. I'm a man! Here. What are you talking about, dumbass? Stop the battle. hammering! Stop the hammering out there! Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I have the hammer. Where's the hammer? Is it on the uh, go up on the other floor? Somebody go up there and stop the hammering. Stop the hammering. Shit. Uh, I'll go down to the god floor myself and stop it. Keep the god commercial break going. Oh, call man. Phil Griffin. I don't care who the you have to call. Stop the hammering. Here we go. Yo. Empty out the goddamn control room and find out where this is going on. It's either there or there. Or out there somewhere. No. It's with me. In cyberspace. The woman talking in my ear was talking about the Labor Day special. Oh, so repeatedly. You can't even every time we scan. went to a sock. You mistaken me for a woman. Do you mistake in Hillary yeah. Clinton? For what do you mean in the conversation? Not in the bush thought, no. This guy calls himself a journalist. 
Labor Day special. Out of control. I don't know why I bother to say how to cut the slots when you don't do it. I just don't. I don't know why I. I just. So now I have to chase those stupid entrails that you allowed him to stick out there. Crazy sound coming in my ear. This stupid hammering. I told you why I wanted those words cut. It just fucking sucks. It fucking sucks to be out here with this out of control. Any thing can come into my ear at any moment. That's what I know. Yeah. Anybody can get into my ear at any time. Well, guess who's Some woman here, talking buddy. about what we're doing after the show. It's things. Yeah, I just came in your ear, faces buddy. Faces coming up in the middle of a script. Dumbass. How do you say this guy's last name? Anderson. That would be the last name you're trying to pronounce, right? How do you pronounce this guy's last name? Anderson. That's how you pronounce it. I mean, if that doesn't sum it up for you, then I don't feel the least bit sorry for you, buddy. Uh, stop the hammering! <laughs> what a dumbass. Okay, somebody explain to me what the hell is going on in this fissure, okay? Dr. Christine Ford fakes being raped. Exposed! Okay, let's take a look. I'm here at the end salon asking for a refund because I got a terrible haircut. Oh, your language And this is, is a customer. Disgusting. My language, I your language is disgusting. I'm a customer I'm and you have offended me. I, I'm, a I'm not talking to you. Get me. I, I'm not Stop on you. Stop kidding me. I'm kidding get you. Get out of here. Get out of this Look at this. Look at this. You get out of this My arms are, look, dude. Get hey, the hell if, she, if she doesn't get her, she's grabbing me, dude. Out. No. No. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. This whole thing is being recorded. All right, I'm calling the cops. I'm calling. Look, look at this lady. This whole thing's being recorded, you psychopath. Jesus Christ. Go sit the fuck down, my you rib. nutcase. My rib. Your rib. Good, your rib. You, land, you slammed into me. My hands are in the I haven't said one bad word. Girl, you can eat this stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god, what, what the fuck is that? And he was our vice president for eight years, the fucking moron that he was. Oh my god. <laughs> the FBI did not reach conclusions. Apparently they do. They do reach conclusions, motherfucker. How about that? Right? Jamie Osai, how about that? Joe Biden. Listen to this retard speak, man report as being worth anything mm -hmm. obviously doesn't understand anything oh i understand everything fbi explicitly does not in this or any other case reach a conclusion 30 years later period they always reach conclusions no period so judge there's no reason why you I should know this the reason why we cannot rely on the I fbi am. report you wouldn't like it if we did because it is inconclusive. Dumbass. They say he Wrong. said, she said, and they said. Period. Wrong, Joe Biden. So when people wave an FBI report before you, understand. Wrong. They do not. They do not. They do not reach conclusions. Right. They do not yeah. make, as my friend points out, more adequate. Oh, oh, by the way, buddy, they do not make recommendations. I'm retweeting your retarded comment. Yeah, Judge. I'm retweeting it, bitch. It's no fun. You fucking Jewish Luciferian. By the way, by the way, here's what I think of your bullshit. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Blue pants. 
In other words, you're full of shit, buddy. So you need to get your story straight. Because it sucks. It absolutely, positively sucks! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me very, very, very carefully. You understand? Because I'm only going to tell you this one time in so many different ways and guises that you're going to have to consider it for what it is. And let me explain something to you now, okay? I know you don't like listening to facts. I know that you're not capable of accepting facts because you don't allow yourself to be, but at the end of the day, that doesn't exclude the fact that you need some tough fucking love. Listen to me, buddy. What you just did was make probably the most retarded statement of any Republican senator in the history of the White House. What did you do? What did you say that turned out to be so unbelievably unfathomably retarded? I'll tell you what you said. You said that there will be no definitive answers to the large questions before us. Somebody help me. Okay. Senator Jeff Flake. And I say Senator very lightly because you don't even deserve to be called one. You deserve to be called something so far much worse that I obviously can't say it here. You see, you know, the quote of 
what you said earlier, the large questions before us. Did you or did you not say that, Janitor Flick? Did you or did you not say that? Don't you think you're so upset here, you bastard? There are no definitive answers for the large questions before bullshit. Absolute balderdash. The quote unquote large questions before us have but one very simple answer, and I'm gonna spell it out for you. D E L O C R A C Y. Democracy. That is the answer to the large questions before us. And you know, you know, all this could have been prevented. We could have abolished democracy. We can still abolish democracy, but we could have abolished it. We could have abolished it in 1790 while we still had the chance when Thomas Jefferson. Yes, that Thomas Jefferson. The same Thomas Jefferson that wrote the Declaration of Independence and finished writing it on July the 4th, 1776, which, by the way, we celebrate on that day a man finishing a document up. We don't celebrate the day that a declaration was ratified. No, that came two months after July the 4th. Or maybe three, I don't know. It could be somewhere in the middle, like two and a half. But this is the same Thomas Jefferson who co-authored the Constitution and its first ten amendments. The same constitutional Republican Democrat, because that's what Thomas Jefferson was. Had he not created democracy in 1790, we would not be dealing with this problem right now. Because had we avoided the possibility of a democracy in any way, any form, any light, in 1790, had Thomas Jefferson not made the one and only flaw that he so desperately hung his head in shame over when he took his secret to the grave, the one mistake that he made, the one and only mistake Thomas Jefferson ever made in his life was creating a democracy and adding it into a constitutional republic that never needed it. Because what, what Thomas Jefferson did was, by adding that democracy, that democracy into a constitutional republic that never needed it, that was going to be killed by it, he ended up killing the whole damn country! It hadn't even got all the starting blocks yet, and 14 years later he kills it. Repeat after me. I have no talent. This is why people like you, Senator Flake, do not deserve to exist. I'm sorry that you're offended by that. I apologize for being absolutely right, and you know it. Senator Jeff Flake, you're going to die sucking the same dick that Senator John McCain sucked before his brain killed him. And in reality, he was the one that killed himself. See, janitor, see, Senator John McCain, well, he might as well have been a janitor, because he was cleaning up shit stains created by Barack Obama and company. You understand? You're going to take this to your grave knowing that what you said was the absolute dumbest thing anyone that's a Republican could have ever said in their lives. So if you cannot accept this tough love, then I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. Senator Jeff Blake, I want you to listen. Stop the hammering! It's time to go to the...
and now it's time for our non-political moment of the week, huh? Yeah! <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know if anyone else has tried this before, but I'm out of milk, and I usually put milk in my cereal, but this time, instead of putting milk in my cereal, I'm going to put orange juice in my cereal. I'll be right back, and I'll show you what I mean. This is gonna be good. I can feel it. No, no, no. Shake well, right? Yeah. Get a little bit of that vitamin D. That's right. Snap, crackle, pop it, right? Snap, crackle, pop, and lock it. Okay. All right. Like I said, this is very unusual for me to put orange juice in my cereal, but since I'm out of orange juice, what other possibility is there? <laughs> right? Well, I mean, I could put soda in my in my in my cereal, but that wouldn't do much good, would it? By the way, you remember when I did the cinnamon challenge earlier this year? And I was the first person to succeed at that. Despite not having taken in a full tablespoonful of cinnamon. Yeah. So, the question of the hour is not, will it blend? The question of the hour is, will it cereal? Okay, let's check it out. Mm. That is crazy. I'm a genius. I mean, mm. you would think you would think I'd be disgusted after trying a bite of orange juice flavored cereal, right? Wrong. Mm. I want to put some more orange juice in my cereal. I'll be back. Good lord, this is good! Drunk on the morning, I forget the words to say. I don't know. Now, this is more like it. See, I should have thought of this before. Putting orange juice in my cereal. I think this actually turned out to be a great idea, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is great.
I know I'm not joking. This is absolutely, this is absolutely cereal with orange juice instead of milk. Granted, no two persons' taste buds are the same, but not that I recommend you trying this, but you try everything else under the sun. You snort condoms. You try to down cinnamon, not realizing that you have to chew it for like five minutes first, like I did in that video earlier this year. That's part of another episode of another web show. Probably this one, for all I know. I mean, you understand, right? It's pretty straightforward. You know, I've done talking to myself news for like four seasons. And I think this is a damn fine way to close this season out. Delish! And here's the icing and the cake for you. To close out this season of Talking to Myself News, I have recited a very unusual vocal transcription set to video of a poem that I think you all know so well. Well, fuck my day! Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming and the rockers rang the balls bursting in air gave room through the that our flag was still there. Oh, sit as the stars bangled banner yet I'm going to change my underpants. Uh, I'll be back. Jesus.